principle of a moving coil galvanometer. An ordinary galvanometer consists of a rectangular coil ABCD suspended between the two poles of a horseshoe magnet as shown in the figure. Let CB or AD be equal to the length L and AB or CD be equal to the breadth B. Let the strength of magnetic field B be and its direction be from left to right in the plane of the paper north to south. Let the rectangular coil be suspended such that the arms BC and AD are always perpendicular to the magnetic field direction. Let a current I pass through the coil from bottom to the top such that I is upwards in the arm BC and downwards in the arm DA. Applying Fleming's left hand rule, the directions of the forces acting on the four arms AB, BC, CD and DA can be found. It can be shown that the forces on CD and AB will be equal in magnitude but opposite in direction such that their line of action is same. Therefore, these forces get cancelled. The forces on BC and AD also will be equal in magnitude and opposite in direction as shown in the figure. On the arm BC, the force F will be perpendicular and into the plane of the page. On the arm AD, the force will be perpendicular but out of the plane of the page. However, the lines of action of these two opposite forces will not coincide. Hence, the forces produce a torque. The torque deflects the coil through an angle theta whose value depends on I. The current I passing through the coil is directly proportional to the angle of deflection. That is, I is proportional to theta. Thus, measuring theta on a calibrated scale, we can determine the magnitude of current I. The torque is balanced by the wire of suspension, which is phosphorus branch. This provides the necessary restoring couple.